This episode is sponsored by PetFlow. Has this ever happened to you? Indy, are you hungry? Oh, let's eat, all right. We're out of dog food. Let's see what this is really costing me. Okay, time to go. I'll be right back, Indy. Sorry I can't spend this time with you. Boy, this is what life must have been like in the 20th century. I'd rather be watching YouTube for sure right now. There are definite better uses of one's time than that. But actually, I didn't need to get dog food at all because I'm a PetFlow customer. Go to the link I have in the description, choose the brand of food you want, and tell PetFlow how often you want your food delivered. And PetFlow will practically pay you to try this service out. You'll get $10 off your first three automatic shipments when you enter code ZAC30. And with all that time I save, I like to shoot dog training videos for you. Click thumbs up for Finn, the 11 week old puppy. Is he not the cutest puppy you've ever seen? If you have a new dog, subscribe to my channel right now. It's free, you'll be glad you did. And keep up with the dog training revolution between videos on Instagram. Tag at Zach George and upload a picture of your dog with hashtag dog training. I'll share some of my favorites. Grab a copy of my book, Dog Training Revolution. I'll have a link in the description. We've got an action packed lesson plan for Finn today. We're gonna go over leash walking, how to teach your dog to listen around distractions, maybe even do a trick or two and how to play tug and fetch. This is gonna be fun. One of the first things I like to assess with dogs is of course their desire to play. Clearly Finn is really into playing. Just look at his energy. Not all puppies are like this though. Some are more chill and more relaxed, which means you would take a different approach. But in his case, since he does have so much energy, I'd like to bring some structure to this play. Tug of war and let go is a really good way to start introducing structure. Right now I'm not picky. I'm not insisting that Finn let go of the toy or anything. I just want him really into it. When a dog this young has this much energy, it's really important that they have have that structure and teaching a dog fetch is the path of least resistance when it comes to getting their energy out conveniently on your schedule so that you don't have to walk them for an hour or two. Now you might think that your dog knows fetch but I actually have a really specific definition for fetch. Fetch is where you throw a toy, your dog picks it up, enthusiastically returns it in a straight line to you and promptly lets go eagerly awaiting the next throw. So as you can see Finn does a great job of chasing the toy. Sometimes he brings it back, sometimes he doesn't. Right there he did it. That's awesome. And because he brought it back, I'm not just going to insist that he let go of it immediately. I'm gonna give him a real vigorous reward to let him know I love that you brought it back. The reward is the game of tug of war here, which he's clearly having a good time with. Now let me see if I can get him to let go. I'm just gonna make the toy boring and just wait. And this is normal, they can go on for a second or two, but when he lets go, I'm gonna give him a prompt yes and immediately toss the toy just a few inches or so. Yes. Get it. As he starts to run away, I'm right there to grab the leash so he's not running all over the place. That's a really common issue when you're teaching fetch for your dog to just run all over the place. It's essential to have your dog on leash so that you can prevent bad habits from getting started. Do you see right there? He's getting bored with the toy. He's not picking it up. What I'm gonna try to do is make that toy a little bit more interesting so that he picks it up on his own. What's this? By bringing movement, rapidly shaking a toy, you're likely to trigger a dog's interest. Just moving it around, getting them to chase it here. And you see how we've reignited that game where he started to get bored? That's how you overcome it, just like that. But it's important to do short reps when you're teaching fetch, not throw it across the yard just yet, because you're trying to get the mechanics of chasing the toy, picking it up, and bringing it back. Good, and let go, good, perfect, good. You see how active we're keeping this game? Good job, nice. So I'd say you're well on your way to being a professional fetcher, Finn, you're awesome. In Finn's case, he has an issue with puppy biting. So really teaching him the proper way to play is essential and this is how you do it. Because if you do this for a few minutes every day, up to an hour as they get older, then he'll be satisfied and won't have that desire to play with anyone and everything. Playing with your dog really encourages them to listen to you for the long run. It's a great way to build a relationship and connection with the dog. Finn's doing really good on his training, but I'm curious to see how a young puppy like this does in an outdoor environment. Let's see what else he knows. Let's go out back. Of course, it's much more challenging to get your dog's attention in an environment like this. The main thing I wanna check for here is, first of all, will he take a treat? The answer to that is yes, he'll take a treat in public. Some dogs are so distracted, they won't even take real meat, but in his case, he's receptive to that. That means we're ready to go on. So let me see if I can get a basic sit. There you go, very good job. Let me see if we can get him into a lie down. 
Yes, good job. I mean, this is a new texture right here. This isn't like carpeting or a hard floor that you might come across inside. Yes, oh, he's even offering his paw. Did you see that? I like that. Hey, let's see if we can get him shaking. I'm just gonna hold the treat here. I'm gonna wait for him to paw at it. Yes, shake, very good. Right there, he just lifted his paw up. Very good, shake. And there, he really lifted it up. That's excellent, Finn. And while I didn't really plan on teaching him shake, he's offering it, so why not? No time like the present. Yes, good, yes. And every time he does it, I'm releasing tiny bits of turkey right here. When you're training outside, you don't wanna use second-rate treats either. You wanna use something your dog really loves. Today, I'm using real meat turkey, very small pieces of it. You already have enough you're competing with, so having a strong currency is important. Now let's see if we can kind of fade out the treat a little bit. You can see that paw, it's thinking about coming up right there. You see it shaking? Yes, that's called shake. I'd say he's really getting shaked down, wouldn't you? That looks like a nice sit pretty too. If you can get your dog doing something new that they haven't really done well before and you can get them doing it outside, they're in good shape. But of course, if your dog isn't doing this well in an environment like this, don't stress it. Just take a step back, try practicing it inside and really perfect it there before taking it outside. Training your dog is really a balance of training them in lots of different places. What is that? Oh, come here. Yes, good. So right there, a bike went by and he was very interested in it and I was able to get his attention on me. Hey, look, we, we've got more bikes coming up here. So let's see if we can get him to listen to us in the presence of these bikes riding by. Look at me. Yes, there we go. See, if your dog never has these experiences, they're not gonna know how to react when they encounter things like bikes. The point I'm trying to make here is it's really important to get out and train outside as often as you can because you're gonna come across things that your dog's never seen before and your dog has no way of knowing how to behave until they get the experience of behaving around things that they haven't seen before. Every dog really needs to understand how to walk on a leash and Finn is really at that age where leash walking is pretty unnatural to him. Let's do a puppy leash walk walking session and see how he does. So let's see how Finn walks on a leash right now. <laughs> Finn is obviously interested in the jogger. That's okay. Hey Finn, look at me. Hey, really good. He offered his attention right there. Let's see how Finn does when we just walk. And you can see he's kind of all over the place. He's smelling the ground. Let's see what happens when we walk this way. You know, you probably want a little more structure to your walk than this. So let's see if we can make an improvement on that right now. Let's get him warmed up with a basic sit. Good, nice job. And remember, since he's so small, there's a lot of distance between our eyes right here. So let me make sure we can get a good look at me from up here. Finn, sit. Yes. Look at me. Good, I'll take it. All right, come on. Yes, he just glanced at me right there. I took one step. I want to let him know he's on the right track. I like that. Notice right here, I put the treat right here because I didn't want him walking ahead. I want to keep him straight just like that. My general goal is to keep him from getting too far ahead. I'm going to lure him back, straighten him out, have him sit. There we go. Come on, Finn. See, when he starts to walk like that, I'm just going to stop. Let's go back this way. Good, and now this way, yes. Look at that. Oh, now we got some momentum, guys. So right now, it looks like it's really clicking with him. Sometimes getting a little energetic motivates your dog to listen to you. We don't want to chase the bike. Let's redirect him from the bike. Sit, very good. I really don't want to pull him. I want him walking voluntarily. Nice job. He didn't react to the bikes. He didn't bark at them or anything. So I want to make sure I pair that behavior with something great, letting him know, hey, when you act that way, you get something great. And since he's so new to training, you wouldn't hold a dog this young to such a high standard of walking perfectly on leash. You're just trying to introduce the concept, get him glancing up at you, kind of following you in different directions. Finn, come on, yes. Just like that, there we go. Come on, yes. Good work, come on, good. That's fantastic. This is what your first few leash walking sessions should look like with a dog like this. And let's see if we can get a few successes in a row here without having to reward them. Look at that little show dog trot, I love it. Come on. Good, and back this way. And see, he's pulling right here. Can he come back voluntarily? Good, I kind of got lower to the ground to make it easier for him to look at me right there. Come on. Let's go, Finn, come on. <laughs> Finn, come here. And I'm just trying to be a little playful with him right now so he doesn't get too bored with the training session. Dogs like to chase, so he seems to enjoy that. And if he enjoys it, so do I. Come here, and let's go. Sit. 
Finn deserves a big thumbs up, so give him one. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Remember, it's free, and if you got a new dog, you'll really be glad you did. Follow at George on Instagram so you can keep up with the dog training revolution between videos. Upload a picture of your dog. Use hashtag dog training. I'll share some of my favorites. Get your dog's food from PetFlow and get $10 off your first three automatic shipments when you enter code ZAC30. I'll have that link and discount code in the description. Finn, you're amazing. Mwah. I love you so much. Yes, I do. We'll see you guys in the next video. Good job, buddy.